When I was a kid, I used to distract myself in class by playing with uh, paper clips and bending them into different shapes. Um, you know, they, they were cheap or free, and you could do all sorts of interesting things like make little catapults and springs and things like that. And, and, and for such a common material, it was really very versatile. You could use it to push things apart and hold things together. You could make hooks to uh, hook onto something. You could make the wire hook onto itself. Wire bending has been something that kind of always caught my attention. And uh, so I started seeing some DIY projects show up on Hackaday and places like that where guys were making CNC wire benders. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I have no need of a CNC wire bender, but I, I'm fascinated with the process and what it would take to do it. More importantly, I'm interested in the code that it takes to, uh, um, and what we could do within the PATH Workbench in FreeCAD to add wire bending capability to that. So I don't have a wire bender and I don't really have the need for a wire bender, but what I do have is Lenny, the big dumb bot. And so over the next couple of videos, we're gonna make a wire bender uh, or turn Lenny into the uh, world's dumbest wire bender. And, and to be clear, this is not how you would make a wire bender. Um, this is a terrible idea. Uh, he's just not set up for it. His geometry is all wrong. Uh, but we're going to see if we can make it work anyway, and at least we'll have a, a test platform to write some code with. So let's talk about the, the overall concept. What does it take to bend a wire? So I've got uh, a straight wire, and the idea is that uh, you're going to you're going to move some amount of material forward and then you're going to apply some force to to bend it to an angle. Uh, and so you have to have something to bend around and you have to have something to to bend. And if you just keep doing that over and over again, you'll end up with a wire with a number of bends, but it's all in in, you know, in the same plane. And what we don't want to do is be able to have wires that are 3D in nature, so they, they bend in in, uh, in in all the directions that are possible, and that means you know extruding the wire and then bending it, extruding again and then rotating and then bending. So in, in every case, the bend is going to be done in the same direction, but we'll rotate the wire a certain amount um, and then uh, and then perform the bend a certain degree. So. You, what you've got is, is three numbers that kind of correspond uh, or, or drive this process. The, the, the distance to extrude the wire, the, how far to rotate it to the next plane, and then how far to, to bend to create the bend. So with those three numbers, you can iterate through an open wire of any length and create whatever shape that you want. So what do you do with something like this where you've got a, a large arc? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and, and, and break it down into, uh, discretize it into a number of small straight segments and then perform a small bend between each one. And we'll be able to control kind of the resolution of that. And this is going to be a real limitation for, for Lenny because, you know, he's not set up for bending. He's not... Uh, it, it, that where he's going to extrude the wire from isn't very rigid. And when you bend the wire, you have to overcome this uh, stress-strain curve, get past the point of deformation. Um, and otherwise, you know, for each bend, there's going to be a certain amount of spring back. I, I don't know what kind of resolution we'll be able to get from Lenny doing this kind of a bend. Now, there's a ton of science and engineering behind bending, you know, metal. And I don't pretend to even begin to understand it. Um, you know, it's not my area of expertise. Uh, but I hope that what we do can serve as a starting point and somebody can come along and improve this in the PATH Workbench uh, and add additional features uh, for all of us. So let me give you an overview of what I have in mind for Lenny the Big Dumb Bot. So I think I explained in previous videos that Lenny is a, a Scara-style robot. He's got a shoulder joint that rotates around the pedestal and then an elbow that rotates in the midpoint. And then um, the uh, this Z-axis shaft travels through the head 
and it can move up and down. And then he can rotate the that shaft uh, around the z-axis. Uh, that's the c-axis in this case. So what I have in mind for his for bending is to remove this manipulator and replace it with a device kind of like a, a 3D printer extruder head. And it would extrude the wire. Um, now the, the shaft that runs through the head is uh, is hollow. So we'll be able to run the wire all the way through. Uh, and then that extruder head will push the wire out with a stepper motor. So by controlling that, we'll be able to control the, how much wire gets extruded. And then by rotating this, he can control the angle um, out of the plane that, um, you know, so we can rotate from one bend to the next and change the plane. And then to perform the actual bend, that's going to be where, where he's most limited. Uh, a typical bending device would have some sort of a manipulator at the end that bends the wire around the tip. And, uh, uh, and it, you'd be able to control how far around it comes to control the bend angle. But we don't have that here. So, my thought is to mount a fixed mandrel, kind of a, a cylindrical shape, right in this area. And then the head would come over and bend, or, you know, he'd move around that in order to control the angle of the bend. So that's the general idea. I know I'm going to need some help with this because some of the math is, uh, is beyond me. Uh, so I'll be looking for some help out on the FreeCAD forum. And uh, if you have suggestions for how to improve this, I hope you'll follow the video series and offer comments as appropriate. All right, let's get it done.